Okay, good afternoon. I'm Ans Harmon. I am the co-founder of Hedera, along with Dr. Lehman Baird, the inventor of Hashgraph. Uh, I'm not here representing here today, uh, Hedera today, but rather I'm representing a group of uh, participants in the Hedera ecosystem that are bringing to market an open source project called uh, the Stablecoin Studio. So I think the easiest way to introduce this and give you a, a simple understanding of what Stablecoin, Stablecoin Studio is, is by analogy. Let's pretend that you're interested in bicycles, that you want to build a bicycle. So what do you do? If you don't know much about bicycles, you, you study them. You go and look up documentation. You decide what frame to purchase. You decide what tools are needed to integrate the other components of the bicycle. The handlebars, the seat, what size tires you want, etc. What the rims might be. Maybe you go into dis, uh, Discord and look at a community, get yourself embedded in the bike community to try and understand the pros and cons associated with those choices that you have to make. So that's one approach. It's a lot of work. Another approach, maybe a better approach, is to be able to go into a bike shop and rather than figuring out all the details that are necessary that I just described, you simply fill out a piece of paper that describes the features that you are interested in, what you want the bike to do, how you want to use it. And then the experts build you that bike. They bring that bike out and they give it to you. You now have the bicycle that you can start with immediately. And if you want to modify it from there, so be it. That's what we're doing here with Stablecoin Studio. We make it possible for you to build a stable coin, a full-blown solution, in a matter of hours or days, rather than weeks or months. We do that by pre-integrating most of the in third-party applications and infrastructure components that are needed. Rather than writing code, you configure the solution and you deploy it. OK, so that's what we're here to talk about today. Let's get into some of the details. So it's purpose-built, obviously, for stablecoin issuers. There are a lot of different types of issuers that might be interested. Those that are part of Web3 and want to deploy stablecoins in a Web3 platform context, maybe they're institutional stablecoin issuers, maybe they're enterprises that are deploying stablecoins for uh, treasury management, maybe they're enterprise banking providers and financial services providers. A lot of different uh, persona that might be interested in this type of solution can take advantage of this solution. What is included in the Stablecoin Studio Toolkit? Well, there's an SDK. It comes with a command line interface. It comes with a web interface. It has the programmability and compliance controls that are needed to build a very robust Stablecoin solution out of the box. It, um, it includes critical features like the ability to enforce treasury management uh, uh, using proof of reserve technology. And it's integrated with other infrastructure providers like KYC AML providers, uh, infrastructure providers that will provide you nodes, uh, custody providers, that sort of thing. All of that is included. What are the use cases? Um, if you're here, you probably know. <laughs> so I'll be very brief about this, but cross-border remittances, DeFi, interbank settlement, wholesale settlement, B2B settlement, micropayments, enterprise budget tokenization, which I mentioned earlier. So of course, stable coins can be used in all these different ways. If you have an interest in these, then you may have an interest in the studio. So I've already mentioned there is an SDK. Uh, you can use that. You can use that with the command line interface. There is an open source demo application. As of today, if you go to stablecoinstudio.com, you should be able to see the solution and how it works. Let's talk about the details of the implementation. Of course, all of this is built using the Hedera Hashgraph Layer 1 platform. 
And we've taken a different approach to implementing a stablecoin solution than the other layer ones perhaps have. We have our own token service, a native token service that gives you really high throughput at ultra low cost rather than using a smart contract for the management of those token transfers. So we leave the smart contract piece out for those functions that are going to happen the most often, that being the transference of the stable coins themselves. But we also have an EVM on the platform that we use for the programmability, the audit features, the administration features, uh, everything that you might want to do that requires a smart contract that you don't have in the native token service itself comes in pre-built smart contracts. So we have the smart contracts. Of course, we built those for you. You get the advantages of programmability with the smart contract service on Hedera with the performance and cost structure of the native token service that runs on Hedera. You get the best of both worlds. So let's look at that in just a different way here. So for example, on-chain proof of reserve, you get that using smart contract. Granular governance controls, same thing, smart contract. Role-based administration, same thing, smart contract. On the other side, using the Hedera token service, you get on-chain KYC and AML features. You get micropayments. You can, you can support micropayments now because of the cost structure and the high throughput that we can process in terms of token transfers. And you, of course, get the existing Hedera ecosystem support. The combination gives you all you need for a robust, high-end stablecoin solution. Uh, very quickly, we've got stablecoin issuer or administrator that's using one of the interfaces to the SDK. It could be the admin interface or a command line interface. The Stablecoin Studio, you can basically you configure what the solution should be. That then deploys the coin on chain. It uses the Hedera token service to, to create the, the coin itself. And it deploys the appropriate smart contracts with the, uh, with the configurations that you've described. On the banking system, you've got your account balance. So as dollars, you know, cash flows in, we have an Oracle provider that provides proof of the, that, uh, those deposits. And that then results in the proof of reserve function, uh, functionality that is part of this. And then you can manage the stablecoin uh, solution using administrators that you configure as, as part of the overarching uh, product. So you can see all the features there. OK, what about cost? S I said it's inexpensive to run a stablecoin or to use the Hedera platform with a stablecoin. You can see what the costs are, are, are there for the creation of the stablecoin in the first place, minting the tokens, transfers. It's a penny of a penny to transfer a stablecoin from uh, account A to account B. And by the way, it's important to note all these costs are not denominated in HBAR. They're denominated in USD. So if you're deploying a solution, you can calculate, estimate accurately what your cost of goods is going to be as part of the solution. You don't have the volatility of the HBAR included in this. You can see the features here that they're also included. Of course, the management of the stablecoin, the burn, pause, freeze, wipe functions. Of course, we support KYC on the accounts. The smart contracts have been audited by CERTIC. So everything that we've done has already gone through an audit process. And who's involved? Here are the first set of third-party ecosystem partners that are included. So for custody providers, you can see Zodia and Hextrust, KYC, AML service providers, Elliptic, Merkle Science, Infrastructure, Archaea, Validation Cloud, BCW, Axiom, and then Smart Contract Monitoring and Security, Halborn, Open Zeppelin, Certic. Um, this is the first set. The more users that use this, the more integrations that occur. This is all open source. It's Apache 2. So as the ecosystem continues to grow, the better the studio becomes and uh, more robust it becomes in terms of the integrations that exist in the marketplace. 
Here is a list of existing uh, early adopters, if you will, those that have already used parts of this to uh, build their own stable coins. You can take a picture, go ahead, you can see who that initial list is. Um, also want to say, while they're not developing a stable coin, uh, there are, I want to call out WorldPay for uh, their announcement today. If you haven't seen the news, you should go check it out. Of course, they're a council member, and they use some of the same infrastructure here that we're, we're providing in this, um, in this solution. So we have an overlap in some of the technology with, with the WorldPay solution that was just announced today. Next steps, call to action. So if you're interested in this, there are ecosystem grants that you can apply for. The participants that are bringing, of the ecosystem today that are bringing this to market include Swirls Labs, which I'm the co-CEO of with Lehman Baird. We're the co-founders of Adara, but co-CEOs of Swirls Labs. So Swirls Labs is part of this. IO Builders helped to build this. The HBAR Foundation, one of our grant giving organizations, is involved in this, and of course, Adara. And then, if you were to include all the other third parties and you know, participants in this, you add another 20 names. So, it's already quite a, a robust ecosystem of participants. And what we've done is basically accelerated time to deployment of a real solution that is good enough for. Hedera's council members. It's that type of grade of a solution, okay? Okay, thank you. I don't know if there's time for questions or not. Okay, thanks again.